Hey guys, welcome to Shuddhi Vidya. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the course that's ahead, the HTML, CSS and JavaScript course, which is a very exciting course. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of what's ahead, what we're going to learn in this course, what you need to participate and what you can expect by the end of this course. So our objective in this course is very simple. We want to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript by building custom written websites. It's really as simple as that. Our course requirements. So there are some things we need for this course. You're going to need a computer with internet connection. You'll need to know the basics, just how to use a keyboard, mouse and basic web browsing skills. And you'll need to read and write in English. And of course, if you can understand what I'm saying right now, that's perfect. You should be in good shape. Now, a note about the first point, that is the computer with internet connection. It is technically possible for you to do this on a smartphone, although it's going to be very inconvenient. And also you may need to use special tools to do some of the things that we're going to be doing. But it is theoretically possible for you to do everything that I'm doing in this course on a smartphone. So what can you expect to be able to do at the end of this course? You're going to be able to build websites from the scratch, meaning you'll write the entire code base necessary for you to run the website. This is in contrast with what we were able to do with WordPress, where WordPress is a technology. We just learned how to use that technology to build websites. But in here, we are going to work with the fundamental code that is running the website instead of using a management system to build a website. Second thing is we're going to be able to deploy the websites that we build onto the internet so that you'll have a URL at the end of the day where you can share that URL and other people will be able to see your website. And we're going to be using the latest tools in the industry for this, meaning these are the same tools that people in the industry use and also the same tools that you would be using for a real world project. We're going to build projects that interest you so we'll be doing many projects throughout the process and you can add variations to it the way you desire so that the end product is an outcome of your creative process and your effort. And finally, you'll be able to build any kind of website you desire quickly and publish them on the internet for free. So our objectives are very simple. So there are some things about this course that are going to be different than what you may find in a traditional course like this. First point is that we extensively focus on practice. So there's this philosophy of practice first, theory next. Usually what you'll find is courses start with theory and then they give you some amount of practice to apply some other theory. But here we're going to learn by doing. Learning by doing is, is what actually sticks. And we will have sufficient amount of theory so that you understand what it is that you're doing. So that you're not doing something without understanding what, what you're doing. So theory will be supplementary, but practice is what drives the entire learning process. The second thing that's going to be different about our approach is that we're going to rely on hands-on practice with real world technologies. A lot of the times you'll find that while teaching a certain technology, certain courses or methodologies of teaching make you rely on some environment, a closed environment, and they make you do all the coding on that. But what ends up happening is that you learn all of it in a closed environment, but you never learn how to translate that learning into a real world practice where you're doing things in the real world. So in this course, we're going to be working exclusively with real world technologies. You're going to be doing coding exactly the way somebody out in the industry would be doing using the latest technologies, using the technologies that you would use for a real world project. And again, the third point is just the same. We're going to be emphasizing on real world skills so that whatever you're learning in this course is going to be applicable 100% for your real world needs. And the fourth thing is project based learning. We are going to be building some projects throughout this course. And personally, I found that project based learning is the most fun way of doing things. And also it's a way of learning that actually sticks to you because you're actually engaged in what you're doing. And you can get creative with it because it's your project and you can add things and do things differently. And of course, it gives you the real world practice that you actually need. And again, I cannot stress this enough, but we are following this philosophy that we only get better at what we keep doing. That's why we are focusing on learning by doing, because when you learn something, it is so that you can actually do something with it. So we actually emphasize on the doing part, because anyway, that's what you're going to end up doing. So you'll have a lot of hands-on experience in this class and you'll keep doing things and learning as a consequence of that doing. And as you do more and more, you'll get better at it. And there'll be a natural transition when you're done with the course where you can actually apply those skills that you've learned here seamlessly without having to translate what you've learned in this class to something that will be useful outside. There's no need for translating what you're learning in this class into usable skills because whatever you're going to be learning in this class is 100% usable. So with all this said, I hope you're excited to join this course and practice along with me. And by the end of this course, we'll have all the foundations you need to start a career in web development. So I hope you're excited. Let's get started.